the oh, petrol station. station. I knew it. Oh, then we're going to the mountains. We are in Glencoe and it's really really warm, doesn't look it but it is. It's a little bit later than we expected only because we set off a bit later because last night we didn't get finished packing until about half one this morning so we didn't want to set off at half five because it wasn't safe to drive like that but we found um, the Lost Valley in Glencoe which is absolutely stunning and just behind me, I don't know if you can make out on the camera but you can see all the mist rolling off mountains up there it's absolutely stunning we think we found somewhere to camp but we don't know yet till we get there it looks all right from afar but it's a little bit different once you actually reach there so we'll see but the dog's loving it living his best life um so yeah we'll update you when we get back there's a nice little river running by but we're not going to um get there till the morning probably have a little wash and a swim so not to jinx it but we haven't actually seen any midges yet those who know about scottish midges well they know last year i think i ended up with about 300 bites i'm not exaggerating either i was mauled alive and usually by now especially with us being near a water source they're usually absolutely ridden everywhere and we've not seen one which is odd especially for this time of night so fingers crossed because where we are is a little bit windy that um, I'm kind of hoping that um, oh okay um, so I'm kind of hoping that for some reason uh, we're going to avoid them this time maybe even just for tonight but that would be nice Anywho, I'm going to have to get off because otherwise I'm going to fall to my death down here. Doesn't look like steep on camera, but it really is. Um, oh, that's where we want to camp up there. Just in there. Can't really make out what it is on camera, but I'll show you when we get there. And the chef doing ours. What are you making, sir? What be on? Pasta carbonara. Have a look. 600 cal. Nice. And chicken curry. Cal. That's me. Bunch of foods. Nice. Where do we get them from? Go outdoors. Three grand each. <laughs> oh, he's finished his. Want some more? Please, sir. <laughs> Would you like some more? I think it's because the light's over your head. What do you think of dinner? I've not tried it yet. I know it's cakes and Tabasco as well. Mm. 
Oh, that's quite nice. All right. Mm. Mm. Mine's actually really good. Can try some. Mm. You actually get quite a lot in it. Stop it. We've not finished the tent yet, by the way. Why? In case people wonder why we're sleeping on a silver mat. I'm sorry, the lighting's crap. I don't know what's up with it. July. We didn't film just today because I wanted to film. Um, I think we got to the Highlands. But now we've got to Lockenhead, which is still in the Highlands and is a massive, massive mountain range. It just goes on and on and on, but it's actually a dead end. So it is just mountains and mountains as far as you can go. And it's the biggest mountains I've ever seen. Now, I think it's about a three hour trek. Um, hold on, bear with me. This is what I've got to get down. Ankle breakers. Um, for those that know me, know that when I was training for my half marathon last year, I snapped my ankle and my left ankle is actually really, really weak. So I have to be super careful. Lee's just up ahead with the dog. It's really warm actually, I had my coat on before because when we got out of the car it was a little bit breezy but it's picked up loads and it's really really nice even though it doesn't look it but to be honest that's better weather for us that the sun's not out but it's warm purely for the dog really so yeah so we've got about a three hour trek we've been walking for about half an hour I think it's about half or 20 to 5 ish now and yeah I'll keep you updated You rather do walk from that house to that house through your ferns yeah. with velociraptors. What house? I can't actually see it on here. It's literally just over that hill there. Oh, yeah, okay. Or swim across the other side with alligators. Velociraptors. Velociraptors. I can run faster than I can swim. Yeah, I'm saying that. <laughs> I love bridges. Oh wow, yeah. look at that in there. I don't know if you keep picking it up on the camera or not. Clean that as well. Yeah. Echo! How are you finding it? Mugged off by the dog. <laughs> Walking. About an hour and a half now. Coming up for two hours actually I think, but the train's getting a little bit brambly. Legs are scratched to pieces. It's all good. We took regular stops because obviously we've got the dog with us. Luckily the sun stayed off us, but it's kept quite mild temperatures, a nice breeze as well. We just found a waterfall and a little running river, so we're gonna have a little stop off here for five minutes, mainly for the dog. We've stopped off about 10 times, I think, for little breaks, just to give the dog a rest and to give him some water. So it might take us a little bit longer than expected, but as long as the dog's okay. It doesn't actually look that high when you're on a camera. That's the hard thing, is you can't always see 
how tricky things are. I've not even got hold of this on the tripod. I'm actually just holding it by the camera because Yep, like that, big dips. So you have to be super careful. Nice, two pits. Oh, look at the front of me, I'm a belly sweat. How long have we been walking? Too long. Oh, I no. can see your head. Two hours. Two hours. Mm. I'm stopping for flapjack. How long have we got left? No comment. Is that all then? Just give them all. No. no. It's very hot. Here you go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's it. Right. Mm. <laughs> that bad? Yep. I also have baby white wash. Hi, I'm Faith Flynn and welcome to Jackass. <laughs> so it's not that bad, is it? Well, this is the last time anybody's ever gonna hear my voice, so... Farewell. Sunday, the 1st of August. Um, we didn't film much again last night because I think I jinxed it with the midgy situation. When we got to where we got to, it was, it was pretty bad to be fair, so... To be able to get a camera out and film while we were getting attacked by midges just wasn't possible. Then once we got into the tent and got the tent set up by that point, by the time we'd eaten and everything, it was pitch black. So, we've left it till this morning to film. We're we'll just a little update on yesterday. It took us about four and a bit hours to get to where we are now. Um, and we're going to hike back today over the mountain this time instead of around it. Um, for those wondering about how the dogs got on, the reason it took us so long it was only supposed to be about three hours, but I think because we did have the dog, that's why it took a little bit longer. Um, because we were stopping about every 20 minutes to let him have a sit down, give him something to eat, give him a drink. So it did take a little bit longer than anticipated, but we all got there okay. Anyone wondering what breed of dog we've got, he's an American Bulldog. And I know many people will be saying, oh, American Bulldog's not supposed to go on long walks, but we got a hybrid American Bulldog. So we got a mix between a Johnson and a Scott. So Johnson's one was the, with the really flat face and the Scott's more of a long snout. Now, anything with a longer snout is obviously going to be able to tolerate longer walks more because of the breathing situation. <clears throat> so being a hybrid, he has the physical um, strength of a Johnson and the agility of a Scott and his snout is in between so it's not too short, it's not too long, it's just perfect. We did check all this out before we got the dog. We made sure we knew what we were looking for because we wanted a dog that we could take hiking with us. He has been on lots of little hikes with us before, so it's not like we're just throwing him in at the deep end. 
we took lots of preparation, lot, lot, a lot of precautions before we just decided to jump in and take him with us. Like I said, we stopped every 20 minutes. He was just wanting to carry on, to be honest, when we were stopping. He just kept wanting to get up and crack on, but obviously we're not going to let him do that because we didn't want to tire him out or exhaust him or hurt him. Or Again, yes, that breed is prone to hip dysplasia, which is why we took the easier route yesterday, which was going all the way around. We are going to go over the mountain today, but the route that we're going to take is quite grassy, so it should be nice and on his legs and comfortable on his legs. He's got, he has been bitten, um, but he's had pivot on, so that should take a couple of them bites down. But no stings, not bee stings or anything, just a couple of little midgy bites. But uh, I don't know if the camera's going to pick any of them up on me, what I've got, but I am absolutely covered in them yet again. Um, and a whopping horse fly bite. So that was nice. <coughs> But yeah, me and Lee have just gone for a little dip in the river, which we were in front of. It wasn't actually that bad, to be honest. The water's not that cold. It wasn't as clean as we wanted it to be. So we only had a quick wash and it got out. But we're going to try and stop off at some more water sources today. Going to head back to the car today. We were going to carry on somewhere else, but it'll be going kind of back on ourselves and all the way back round. The lighting's really bad because the sun's just come out from behind the cloud. Really bright. Um. Today is the day where we're going to try and find our mountain. We loved Glencoe, but the mountains, if you've ever been there, are so big. I don't think it's going to be accessible to get married on. I think it'd be a little bit too much, especially carrying a wedding dress up and everything. So and crack on and I will I'll keep you updated throughout the day. We've been walking about an hour and it's getting a bit too hot. So we're going to take shade down here. Have a swim in there. dinner in as well I think. Absolutely huge. It's a shame the cameras will actually pick up how big it is. Yeah literally so insignificant compared to all that. Seven hours later. <sighs> Seeing the car is oh, I can't even tell you. We've been through it all. Climbed and I'm out in that um, fence is bigger than Snowden. And this dog, the most loyal dog, the most amazing dog ever, which we have stopped off multiple times for. He's had naps and everything, as you saw in the other clip. So he has been stopped and fed and watered. And again, that's why it took a bit longer, but this time it was so much harder today. I can't wait to get in the car. Oh. Oh my God. Do you think it's moving? Do knows what to do? It might flip out if we're near the babies. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Yeah, what are you going to do? Oh. Okay. Oh god, I'm mega bad sunburnt. Wow. How are you ready to kick off? <coughs> Just a cow. Do another one, eh? Oh. Don't get too close. I don't want his horns to hit the car. We've actually come and stopped at a dog friendly B&B. &B. Um, we just didn't want to put him through another night of walking. 
I think he's done enough. So we've checked into this dog friendly hotel. Oh, he's got his own bed. And the view's lovely as well. I don't know if you can see if there's a reflection in the window, but. It's in a place called St. Augustine's, and yes, that's somewhere. Oh, it's better light. Yeah, somewhere from the up the mountain. And we just had chips, chicken burger, pizza from the fish and chip shop next door. Absolutely shattered, and we don't have to check out to the living, so that's good. <clears throat> This is just genuinely the state of me. Uh, I'm gonna get a shower soon, and I'm just glad Echo's got somewhere to rest now. He's doing so good. Okay. He forgets his own bed, and well deserved. He's just had sausage and chips as well. This is a room. It's looking exciting. It's tiny. Is at the back of like um, that noise is a pub outside. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> Echo. My bed. A lot of stuff we've literally just dumped it down. I'm not usually this messy when I stay in a hotel, but <sighs> honestly, I've um, got all copies and stuff. The day after tomorrow is on. We have a bed. Tea. Nice views. Absolutely views. And that's it. It's an exciting, but it's actually the best place we could get. We literally booked it like an hour ago. Um, yeah. So it's a Chinese restaurant slash pub. Slash dog B and B. Don't ask. It'll do. Not complaining. I'm absolutely shattered. If you can't tell. Like, uh As for the midges as well, I am covered. And that horse fly bite has got about that big. And I'm not exaggerating. It is huge. Never been bit like that in my life. I'm covered in midge bites as well. So is the dog. So I'm gonna get a nice cool shower, get some jams on, and get into bed. And then home sweet home tomorrow. So. Yeah, all around pretty successful trip, but we're all tired and I'll go to bed. Good night.